Nikki. Hello. Have you heard about this new show called Metal Chopping Block? Chip, chip, chiray. I heard it's pretty freaking oh. awesome. Where's my hat? Oh, there it is. <laughs> So in honor for your birthday, Sammy boy, we got a nice tomahawk steak, Thor's golden hammer. We got a, it's been aging in butter for three days. We're gonna take the butter off, trim it, cook it on this beautiful fire that's turning into coals. Let's get to it. Woo yeah. Up the irons. Yeah, baby. Fantastic. The Trooper. Iron Maiden's beard, Nick. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Metal Chopping Block on the road to cook. This week, Nick is freaking me out. Well, it was his birthday last week. He's the old man club now, 54. I'm 531. So we got a beautiful tomahawk steak in honor of your birthday, Sammy. Oh, thanks, buddy. So it's been aging in the fridge for three days, coated in butter and salt. So we're just gonna cut the butter off, trim the meat, season it, and put it on that beautiful fire going out there. And for the side dish today, we're gonna to do a, like a Sicilian-based salad. It's gonna be fennel, orange, black olives, with some salt, pepper, some beautiful oil, some beautiful spiced whiskey to wash it all down with, and uh, just a little pita bread to dip whatever, and we're ready to rock and roll. So like I said, we covered this in butter, and I salted it first. I used the garlic butter with some parsley and everything. You can buy it, mix it yourself. Um, as much butter as you want, it's up to you, but I use basically two sticks covered it all on, put it on a, a rack in the fridge for three days. So now we're just gonna take the butter off, set it aside, and then whenever you're aging anything, you know, you wanna make sure that everything is good. If you see some stuff that's a color that you don't like, then obviously you um, cut it all off. If you, something doesn't smell right, but this is, oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. We got the meat eater thermometer put in. We got it set for 140. We're gonna take it outside, cook it in indirect heat. Once it reaches its temperature, we're gonna put it on the flame, reverse sear it, cut into it, and get ready to eat. All right, ready to put this beautiful piece of meat. All right. So a couple facts I found out about the tomahawk steak. It's actually a glorified ribeye is what it is. And butchers like to cut it with about a five inch bone. And the other thing I found out, because I was wondering why it's so expensive. Well, one of the reasons why it's so expensive, it comes from a part of the cow and the ribs that it doesn't use. So it stays very soft and supple. It doesn't get all tenderized and everything. It just stays nice and soft. It has a lot of flavor in it. And that's one of the reasons why they're saying it costs so much. I know I've eaten these before. Have you had one before, Sammy? No. Okay. You'll see why it tastes so great. Don't be a bonehead. Don't forget to subscribe. It is looking oh, it's beautiful out there, man. I don't even know if I have to sear it. It's getting so nice. We probably have to do the side, Sammy, because it's so thick. But uh, we're almost there. But right now we're going to get the salad ready. Up the irons. So 
this is a basic, it's a, a Sicilian salad. Um, obviously, if you can get blood oranges, even better, but I couldn't find any. They're not in season right now. So any kind of nice juicy orange. So basically, you're gonna, we're going to cut the fennel, lay it out, whether you do it in a bowl or whatever, we're going to do it in a board, lay it out, cut the oranges on top, put the black olives to the side, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil. So we've reached the 140. We're ready to take this baby inside. Look at that, Sammy, isn't that gorgeous? So we're ready to take this beautiful piece of meat inside, let it rest, put some butter on it, and start slicing into it. I can't do the up the irons, but up the irons. <laughs> Nick, this looks splendid. You did a fantastic job, bro. So this is some nice spice box, spiced whiskey. First time trying it. Happy birthday, Sammy. Thanks, buddy. Hmm. Oh, sempre. Duro. Holy smokes. That's right good. Now, brother. Oh, that's tasty. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, very good. I thought it'd be perfect to complement what we're having tonight. So, obviously, let's uh, get into the meat first, oh, huh? Let's do it. The salad looks beautiful. Oh, it looks so fantastic. Okay. All right. So, you first. I'm you take. Start with this piece right, right over here. Kind of in between. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna go with this now. There's some really spicy stuff here down here, but I want to try one with no sauce first. All right just to see how she goes. So like I said, it's for three days. You can go up to about a week. Uh, and the butter, you can go as thick as you want. I only used a couple sticks. You can, some of the guys I saw, they had like that much layer of, of butter on there, but it all gets thrown out. It's kind of a waste. Sempre duro. Sempre duro, at the irons. Mmm, oh. Mmm, wow. Oh. Mm. Wow. But the tastiest part is the fat. It wow. has a has a very nice. Um, it's wood. it's smooth. Yeah, well, the woody flavor because uh, you're cooking on fire is always great. But um, yeah, again, I didn't add any salt because I salted it already. <clears throat> okay. And um, it has a smooth, buttery texture to it. That's very nice. And now I'm going to try with a little bit of this ass burning stuff. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Wow. Into the fire. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Good, good, huh? Oh my god. What is that stuff? That what is that? It's a chutney. We'll, we'll have to look at it. Um, it's a nice chutney, but it's, just, it's very, very spicy. You don't use a lot of it. Fantastic. Great way to have a tomahawk, man. 
Thor, you did good. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smoke. Now again, you can do this on a barbecue, on charcoal, in the oven. You can do this anywhere. But if you're lucky enough, you can do this on an open flame. Like I always say, to me, it's the best way. Oh, I gotta have one more piece before we get into. <laughs> and that big, beautiful bone. Look at this baby. That's beautiful, huh? So there's still a lot of meat. Oh, that's hot, give me the hiccups. There's a lot of meat on here. Yeah, you'll be gnawing on that later, I'm yeah. sure. If Bruno was here, well, I might give him a little. Oh, this is so good. This, yeah, it melts in your mouth, beautiful. Okay, so that's that one. What is that sauce? That's just a barbecue sauce, a little sweeter. Oh, okay. mm, so good. Ooh. All right, so wash the palate down. What do you think? Wow, God, I can't even think right now. It's nice, It's eh? so good, it's but so good. It has, beyond the smoke and everything else, but even with the butter, you find it, it's, it's, it's very, um, it's there, it's very mild. Very mild, it was just, a nice, a nice taste, nice, not overpowering. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay. So now, I'm not even sure how to eat this. So you just take a little bit of everything, put it on your plate, try to mix the flavors together. And again, with this one, if you can get blood oranges, uh, apparently they're fantastic. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy smokes. The sweetness of the orange with the... Interesting, it's good, right? I would have never thought to put this together. You know what? I just cooled that right off. Wow. I'm just telling you, I've never had this before. That's all you really need, a little bit of uh, flatbread just to mop things up and... Other than that, this is a perfect meal. Perfect. So I'd say... Well, while we're here, yeah. Go ahead, Nick. It's been a great date. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, bro. Oh. You're the best, buddy. And thank you to all our audiences for tuning in to our videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. One of the things that Nick and I have discussed is, man, it's, uh, the bill is starting to uh, catch up on us, eh? Shit's expensive. Yeah, everything's, everything's adding up. We're not uh, getting paid by uh, anybody. This is totally done on our expense, our time, our production time and everything. So keep tuning in. Like our videos if you can. Subscribe. And one of the ideas that we had now is to put a little donate button on the description of our videos. So if you'd like to help out, we're not asking for much, but even a like is good enough for us. So yeah, if a like's all you can afford, that's great. If you want to donate some stuff, I mean, we're going to keep putting shows up. We're going to keep yeah. buying stuff. But um, if want you want to see something, if uh, even put a suggestion, you want us to do a brisk, anything, something you, you, you want us to try, we'll do. Yeah, we just want to keep bringing creative videos to you and uh, hopefully we can keep that going and uh, until YouTube recognizes us as a channel and uh, we can start getting paid for this, that would be fantastic. Until next time, Metal Chopping Block on the road to cook. Stay tuned. And I hope uh, you guys try this, man. It's killer. Um, again, if you're going to try it, I wouldn't do much more than a week. Um, you could try it see what happens but I think a week's probably max as far as aging it but don't cover it leave it in the fridge put it on a rack it's fa fantastic, fantastic. sempre duro, duro up the irons up the irons and we got a lot of food to eat here it's breaking awesome <laughs> welcome back to metal chopping block on this episode <laughs> so we just covered it all I salted it covered it all in butter put it in the fridge on a rack uncovered for three days we're gonna take peel the butter off cut out trim the meat off whatever we need to <laughs> it's okay. All right. Uh, we're gonna cook it indirect first. Once it reaches its thing, <clears throat> let it stand. Add some of the butter that we that was on it back on. 
cut it and get into this. I can't even fuck. <laughs> so, a couple of fun, Eddie, fun facts that I found out about ribeyes. Sorry, this is not a ribeye. Let me do that again. So, a couple of facts I found about. Holy Jesus. Do I have to do the point again? <laughs> <sighs> Try some of this stuff off the bone here. Do you want the bone? No, no, go take this. Just manja. I'm just. No, I'm good. I'm gonna have some part of that shit. Manja. Go buy some Barney Rubble on it. That's fantastic, brother.